Here's Terawaikato Whare Here Here, Manika. There's the Punga Punga uh, Marae in Pohara in, in Arupuni. And um, this is the latest where we're, we're charging these people under this um, uh, this um, Terawaikato's title. He's got the title to the country. He, he signed the documents with King George IV, right? And these are the regulations that go under him with the with this what I'm doing as a default uh, a default contract okay um, let's say something by by default what is the default contract with the British Navy Royal Navy this this is Sir Philip Jones he's our he's our legal partner in place of King William the fourth here so I'm holding the government in New Zealand against a, a threat of TPPA that they're going to sign next month with the Queen's coming here, Hillary Clinton, and also um, Barack Obama. The crooks are coming here because they can play around here, and they're going to they're going to come up against this now. I'm going to serve this on them. Uh, and I have to do it before the third of next month is when they come here to sign the TPPA. That's to take over the whole Pacific Ocean and the natural resources. And this is the pound note that's going on their head. 970 million trillion trillion pound note. I'll be starting to cash that up after the lawyer legalizes all these documents. So I'm going to go through the camera rolling. And uh, hi, today it's. Um, uh, Wednesday the 27th of um, February 2018. I'm just giving a little commentary here in my little office, um, excuse me, uh, of um, today's uh, transactions of what's happening with the New Zealand Crown Government under the Queen Elizabeth II and the King's Government under these two kings here, the King George and the King, King George IV and King uh, King George IV and King William IV, the two brothers, are in contract with this man, Tera Waikato Wharehirehire Manukau, and us, his descendants. At the present time, uh, Ma uh, Morris Baker, Morris Lowe Baker, has deed titles. These are the books, deed titles. I've got them here somewhere. Uh, over here somewhere. I'll get them out after. That's okay. And so, um, deciphering those into, oh there's them up there, those two books, pass me those two books, the black one and the blue one. So these are deed contracts in the Hokianga Harbour, the originals of ten blocks that Lobo, Morris Baker, has got the original whakapapas and um, putting them back into uh, the British deed titles um, of Ori Takuri. That's one Paramount Chief that um, was instrumental in the Hokianga Harbour to convey titles through his um, descendant uh, and Hedewini, um, Hedewini Tikuri, this man here, the son of um, Hori Tikuri, in Taheke Marae uh, and Rawane Native uh, Court. Uh, where uh, Hori Takuri was a crown agent, British crown agent, and uh, I'm holding that title as a surrogate of um, uh, Hori Takuri and Ramaka, his father, uh, to these titles in this book. And these are British titles, they're not New South Wales Loons titles, and so um, I'm going to revert them or change them back to British title deeds of the old titles like that and um, it's uh, really um, an exercise that um, I'm going through with Morris. I spent three weeks with him up in Taiki on his uh, land blocks. They're in Maori land titles and I'm doing the Cook Street titles, uh, British Crown titles that are now Lynn's uh, New Zealand titles. I'm going to be switching those back as well. So these are just some of the original titles of um, in the latest of Morris's um, encounters with the uh, justice system, with the 
titles to his lands. Now, that's that chief, Te Rawaito Wharehe of uh, the um, 18, 18, 1830s to uh, 1882 period. He died in 1891. That's Te Rawaito, that's Tangapui uh, chief. Um, um, I mean, Hori Takuri, not Te Rawaito. Hori Takuri is a, uh, a, a chief of the Ngāpui um, uh, Tahitian and uh, original um, uh, native uh, with the British first arrivals in 1820 period and Te Rawaikato is 1820 to 1830 King George period so Hori Te Kuri, uh, ancestor uh, uh, Ramaka was in the 1820 to 1830 period in these titles that I'm transferring over as a real estate um, um, uh, person in, uh, in uh, these uh, type of business uh, dealings to investigate those titles. So anyway, we've got up north we had one chief with the D titles, these ones I just showed you, and I'm holding the D titles of the Ma Ma Manukau, Moriori, Punga Punga Hapu in Arapuni, Cambridge, Waikato area. Uh, that uh, Pohara Marae, is what it's called at the present moment, is where the rock is, the rock um, uh, memorial. Uh, that's here in this photo here. Uh, I can show you afterwards if I've got it up on my somewhere um, of that um, of that um, memorial uh, where my father-in-law um, Peter Mihanui, um, uh, I, I spent a great deal of time there um, with his daughters uh, Katarina um, Waitorangi Mihinui that I married and my kids. So I've um, got my own family connection to Mangatotiri Mountain from my own uh, uh, land blocks down the East Cape with um, Uetaha and um, um, Marangaro. Uh, Marae lands. So those more or less um, uh, bring the histories of that time period into today. Uh, I'll see if I can find other photos of uh, of um, the Waikato chief. No, that's not the ones. I'm going to try and go back to Facebook. And before I go on to the, I'll go to Facebook right now and see if I can rock into where I am on my latest post. I've just put this photo up here just to alert the people on New Zealand that uh, now we are, we are at war with this flag, this 1834 declaration of war flag against third party pirates on the high sea. Uh, the New Zealand government and the New South Wales government is now signing TPPA and 11 states that's called TPPA 11 which means 11 states without America in it signing this country away without showing this title they have no title, legal title I'm challenging to repeat what I'm saying about this title now it's on Facebook today for the first time I'm just saying we have King George IV and King William IV, the creators of the uh, commercial contracts that New Zealand has made with Britain, not with Australia, with Britain under these two kings. How all the people in New Zealand got on these lands was these two kings, not the Queen. She's only a temporary, um, temporary crown, not even hasn't even got a coronation. These two are in their coronation outfits. These are, these are coronation in 1823. King George the Fourth was coronated and coronated, and that's what he wore when he signed with Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau, the chief of Mangatauteri Mountain, and the Punga Punga Marae and Hapu, where he came from and went to England uh, to um, uh, seek help to come and save his Moriori. Manukau lands. Now I'm talking about a real Manukau and 
in the Waikato, not the one in the Kaipara, which is the one I've been doing all these years. And the difference in the two Manukau's is the Manukau in Kaipara has been fashioned under a woman, under the woman surname of Tira Waikato uh, by Ngāti Pātua tribe. That's been an invention of the Crown Corporation's private business owners here in New Zealand and New South Wales and New Zealand governments. They fashion that tribe, Ngāti Whātua, as Ngāti Whātua o Ōrake and Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara. Those two stole the New Auckland title uh, of the province of Auckland, British title, and switched the um, Manukau name from Waikato into a new Waikato name in the Kaipara uh, and where the Awaroa Native Magistrate Court was when they did the changeover between John Rogan and Reflecha Manukau, put the title together for Pukikohi, uh, Uatawa area from Bombay over to Clevedon, over to Waiuku. They put that title one man under that British title and switched it. So I'm just saying this picture here is a bill of 970 million trillion trillion pound note our oath of office to King Ernest Augustus the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover this man and his wife Prince Caroline of Monaco they're still married and they were uh, they were approved by Queen um, Elizabeth II as a, a, a legitimate legitimate couple in the royal family and so we've got um, we've got here I've put the legal construct together of regulations on seizing New Zealand back into the custody of these two kings off the Queen and the pirates I'm calling them and here's our partner to do that with I have this picture here of Cook Street where the police New Zealand police the courts and these uh, CID and the landowners of 77 Cook Street lost the case against me because of all the information I had. They were found to be by the judge, lack of information or uh, um, uh, insufficient evidence against me with all these titles and the flag to go behind it. I'm explaining the flag of what it is. It's not just a normal flag. It is a bank trading flag of commerce and military protecting our business. Our business is at stake now. It's threatened by the Queen and her Rothschild banks and also Hillary Clinton coming here next month on the 3rd of March 2018. Hillary Clinton and Obama, the biggest crooked thieves and terrorists in the world, are coming here with the biggest other Queen Elizabeth II fraudster and treason uh, woman coming here to meet up with the other treason woman, I'm making these statements on this video um, um, with um, um, uh, Dion Paco Walker, my friend, uh, that the Queen and Sean Alliance, Sean Alliance, Chief Justice of New Zealand, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern, and the Governor General, Patsy Reddy, four women who are the criminals of fraud and corruption are here in this country where they've got away with it for years. They're not going to get away with it this time with Moai Crown and the federal state flag. This is a federal state flag, the only king's flag in the world, given to the paramount chiefs. I'm saying on this video, it was not given to Maori. It was given to paramount chiefs, these three paramount chiefs of that time, it's been switched around by the Crown who invented the word Māori, they invented the word Iwi, and then they made a business out of it. It's a business name, and that's what they're making Māori subjected to what the Crown wants to do with them. That's why they are helpless and are powerless to do anything about it. They have to go back to their original hapu native names. Maori is okay but in a commercial sense anything with the word Maori on it 
doesn't belong to you. It belongs to these crown thieves and pirates and thugs, I call them, in front of the whole world, operating their business here because they can get away with it. The Maori that they invented is pandering to their demands and laying a red mat out for them as entertainers of these crown thugs. Okay, so this is the crown of New Zealand and New South Wales prison convicts running this country, booted out of England and uh, Europe, and they're still doing it. We're going to stop them with this writ warrant or control and possession warrant to seize back one land and the rest of the country after Cook Street. 77 Cook Street will be seized with my lawyer, uh, Tony Fortune. I'm supposed to be there this week, but I'm taking a bit of more extra time and he's patient to wait for me to sign these documents to seal them and apostolize them, get them ready for the government. I've got the documents gone in and he had told me to get my passport, so I've got that coming in the mail, should be here by Friday, and I won't go in to see him until I get the passport in my hand as identification of who I am and what I am and what titles I'm holding over this country and this government and everybody in there that cannot refute what I'm saying of these Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau title, Refle for Manukau title and Horitukuri title. Those three paramount trees, there's plenty more others, but the hapus have to find who theirs are. They can follow this when we get it going and it'll only take three chiefs to wipe them out off our land and off all the other indigenous countries' lands in the world following this pattern of thuggery in Waitangi Marae. I opened it up as a native magistrate court with Willie Pater and Hoepa Epiha and Kingi Toto and Georgie Job and Alfred Mitchell. Now, the government, the Maori government, is Georgie Job and Alfred Mitchell. They're from Nani Porto, Georgie Job, and Alfred Mitchell from Tainui. Uh, I say this, they're mischievous people to be mucking around with titles they don't know anything about. They don't know this flag, they're waving this flag around, it's got no legal effect until these are apostolized and sealed as legal, real, and enforceable. At the moment, the flag is not enforceable because the government legislated it out in, in this country, in the government, and made the 1835 Declaration of Independence out of this 1834 flag from this King George IV. This King George IV gave us this flag to trade with, not to go and wave around for the government or Maoris or the Whakameninga. He didn't give it to the Whakameninga. They only made agreement to pick a flag. They did not get the contract to go with the flag because they couldn't understand it. Only this Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau went to England. He went to learn land transfers and they were going to take it anywhere. The British were going to take it so he signed the documents to put it up for sale on paper documents only, not the land, paper documents to Britain. And so Britain left New Zealand government to run this country on a three-year running parliament as, and their parliament can be shut down any time. That's why it's not long-standing, it's only temporary. They are only caretaker government in until we find our way. So as far as I can see, Maori has failed on the Maori, Maori party the Mana Party has failed. The Maori Land Court will fail soon because they're getting rid of it. All the Maori Land titles are online now for sale. When Morris said, I said to Morris, what's that number on the gate? It's got a number on the gate, 3710. He said, oh, it's just the gate number. I said, no, it's for sale. Your land's for sale, Morris. It's on Google. Go and have a look, I'll show you. And so he's shocked because all the land in this country under Maori title is for sale. Every one of them, even if you've got a title, because the titles don't belong to you. They belong to these stacks in government, in Wellington. So we go back to the British titles because they're ours and wipe these ones out and give them a bill first. We give them this big bill first before we wipe them out and that's what I'm doing today between now and the 3rd of March next month. I only have a short space of time 
to clean them out with this. And uh, um, it takes a bit of time. I'm, I'm on a short leash now to finish it off. And now that that's on Facebook, everything on Facebook and YouTube that I do, 1,537 videos so far on YouTube, are admissible evidence in the High Court of Admiralty in London. And you'll find they're admissible anywhere in the world, in, in courts where King's Bench Court is. And even in the Queen's Bench Court, they are accepted. When I had my court case against the police, CID, and the landowners of Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, the judge threw the case out, dismissed it because they had insufficient evidence and the judge says to me, uh, my, my barrister, another crooked one, says to the, uh, the judge, Grant, oh, John wants to say something. And the judge turned to him and says, there's no need, it's all on YouTube. And so that set the president case for any of these videos I've got as case against anyone that's acceptable evidence if they can't refute it. No one has refuted anything I've got on Facebook or YouTube right till now. I'm using that against anybody in the government. If they can't say anything, I'm, I'm giving them a short notice to refute everything that's on Facebook and YouTube. If they can't, I take over. And that's how it works. My word against yours is how the law works when it's sealed and apostolized. I'm hoping to do that on Friday or next Monday. It has to be done next, um, what's the date on Monday? The date on Monday is um, March, March the, what's the date on Monday? Monday the, no, today is 26, 20, 20. The date today is the 28th today, sorry. Uh, Thursday is the first, second, third. Oh, third is the Saturday. Oh, I have to hurry up and get it done by tomorrow. So I'm, I've got to put this notice online. On, on, well, it's on Facebook now. I'm just making statements now. It's a little bit late, but they'll, they'll alert it. I'm alerting the British online. They're watching uh, that <coughs> the TPPA 11 is a threat against our national interests, our security of investment and banking interests in New Zealand against these private operators for their own financial interests, which is really um, what they've been doing all along. So I'm putting this big note up against everyone that's in that organisation with the Queen, and she has no seal of, of, of Westminster Parliament, this government's got no seal from the Queen because she's in the EU Parliament. She's not in the Westminster Parliament. She's only dancing around there as if she is. But all her business interest is in the EU Parliament while she's trying to shut down the Westminster Parliament and we're going to keep it open with the flag and shut her down and the EU Parliament with this big note. This big note goes over everybody that's in a Crown Corporation, including EU Maori leaders, and their um, hapu, um, um, not hapu, iwi organisations, uh, and Ngāti Whātua, all those tribes up north, that um, all their treaty claims in this country come under Ngāti Whātua, the ISIS tribe of New Zealand. It's, ISIS is an invented tribe by America, doing the same thing as Ngāti Whātua here. The ISIS is fighting the American people, and it was made by the same Queen Elizabeth II, the owner, the legal owner of America, and the legal owner of New Zealand is the Queen at the present time. We're putting this up against her with these two kings and King William III to knock her out because she's got no title here, really. She's got no, and, and shut her mouth. If you don't say anything and stay silent and, and don't refute this, then that becomes the law. So what I want to do is show you the document, if you'll uh, um, uh, bear with me to we'll find it. Um, this is the one that I've got online that's going um, today. I have to hurry up because the time I didn't realize it was so late um, on my Facebook right here. I'm just going to show you, uh, I've got to go to the document, you know. I've got to go and find the document. Um, where have I put it? Oh, here. It's here. Here, yeah, this one. Okay, I'm going to go through the document. Oh, not that one. Hang on. Um, 
I'm finding the original document. Uh, no, hang on. I forgot. Um, wait for a minute. I've got to find it, Tony. How's your film going, alright? I'm just trying to find the documents that I was reading on. Very difficult for me to find everything. Um, I wish, uh, you know, uh, I'll go down over there. This one's in there. It's on this computer, but that computer's... Um, um, 